In today's Minecraft video, Melon got buried alive! We were at the supermarket when we found this hole in the wall! So we had to check it out! But then the whole cave started crumbling down! Sunny managed to escape, but I was left there alone! Goats, I know Melon can be annoying sometimes, but please, like the video now so we can help him escape! Thanks, goats! Oh, bro, no way! This is the episode where the Hyper Titan shows up! Oh, I love this episode, Sunny! Hey, guys! Guys! I can use something refreshing to drink. Ah, oh, Quandale, you're interrupting the best part. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just really thirsty. If you go and buy me a drink, I'll let you keep the change. We get to keep the change? Give me the money, Quandale. Three whole emeralds. Sonny, we're rich. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but we can definitely buy some snacks with that. Let's go. Now, don't forget, we gotta buy Quandale a drink too. Otherwise, he'll be super upset. I know, I know. We'll get him his drink first and then we'll get some snacks yo steve you got any refreshing bevs for quandale yeah there's some drinks in the bottom right fridge down there all right let's go melon it should be just down here refreshing drinks in this chest nope that's pork chops that one's empty uh sonny i think he probably meant down this way oh yeah that makes sense he did say the bottom right corner huh what does that say cup oot I think it says, please go inside refreshing orange juice below. Yeah. Also, I have dyslexia, Sonny, so I can't really read. Don't worry, I'll read for you. What does this one say? Move down. I can't see your big head's in the way. This sign says, go farther in. The oranges are getting squeezed fresh. Oh, this one has a whole lot of writing on it, Sonny. Don't worry, bro. This sign, all it says is, please enjoy. Uh, are, are you sure? It seemed like there's a block of text. Hold on, let me double check. Please enjoy a lot. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. All right, whatever. I don't care. I'm just gonna get that OJ for my boy, Quandale. Let's go. Hey, yo, uh, Sonny, I don't think this is orange juice. What is this? Yeah, I'm not even gonna cap. I lied to you about every single sign. I just wanted to see what was down here. And now I know. Steve's been hiding a secret ancient sword. Uh, Sonny, we should probably turn around and get out of here. Nah, let's play a game of rock, paper, scissors to see who grabs the ancient sword. All right, all right, Sonny. Type your answer. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Shoot! Ha <laughs> ha! I win! Now grab that sword. I'm just gonna back up a little bit in case something bad happens. Dang it, bro! This is probably gonna be some kind of giant boulder that crushes me, Indiana Jones style. Well, here we go. Uh, Melon? Why is the room? Boom shaking! Ah! I'm out of here! Let me out! No! What is that? No! Melon! What happened, bro? Oh no, Sonny! I'm blocked in! Melon, punch your way out of there! Uh, Sonny, it's not working! I can't seem to punch these blocks! Okay, just stay put! I'll be right back! I'll go grab a pickaxe from our house! Goats, this is really bad. I didn't think Melon would get trapped in here. I thought it would just be kind of funny if like an ancient scorpion dropped out or maybe a spider landed on his head. I didn't want him to get stuck because of a giant rock fall. I've got to get back home, grab our pickaxe, and see if I can mine out the giant boulder. Pickaxe should be in this chest. Yes, there it is. Diamond efficiency one. Oh, uh, guys, it's super creepy in this cave. Maybe I should look for another way out. What the heck? Why are there spiders? Spikes on the floor. Oh, I should have known not to take this sword. Well, if this pickaxe can't break through, then nothing can. Melon! Melon, I'm back! Uh, Sonny, you got the pickaxe right? Bust me out of here! Yeah, bad news, bro. I am swinging this at the stone as hard as I can, and nothing's happening. It's like this place is cursed! Oh, no. Uh, maybe Quandale knows something. Go talk to Quandale! Okay, good idea. I'll be right back. Wait, no, don't leave me, don't leave me. I'm lonely, I'm scared. It's fine, Melon. I'll grab a piece of iron and it will keep you company. Here you go. Hello, Mr. Iron. Oh, it's so annoying, goats. I was able to break the iron up there, but I can't touch this stone to let Melon go free. <sighs> Quandale's probably got an answer for this. He better, because this is basically his fault. So, Mr. Iron, how long have you been in the caves for? I've only been here for like 10 minutes so far. It sucks, I gotta say. Quadale! I really need your help, so... 
<laughs> yeah, we went to Target to get you that refreshing beverage. And then we couldn't help ourselves. We explored a forbidden passageway. Ended up at a cave system with an ancient sword. Melon tried to grab it and now he's trapped. Really? How does that even happen? I sent you two to buy me a drink and now Melon is stuck in a cave. Yep, that pretty much sums it up. And now I need your help, bro. Take this earpiece. Give one to Melon and keep one for yourself. That way you can talk through a distance while he's trying to escape. Thank you, Quandale. That is a great idea. Two communication earpieces. Melon, don't worry. I'm coming back, broski. You are my only friend, Mr. Iron. The bestest friend that wouldn't leave me in any circumstances. Yes, I'll play hide and seek with you, Mr. Iron. You hide first. You got two minutes. One, two. Melon, I just got back here. It's only been like 20 minutes since you got trapped and you're already going crazy. Bro, I don't know what you're talking about. But what is that thing? It's a community communication device. Stick it inside of your ear hole, and we can use this to talk from any distance. Okay, uh, I don't think I can put anything in my ears. Well, well, just hold it in your offhand. Okay, yep, yeah, that's all you had to say. Now, Melon, bad news from Quandale. Yeah, well, what's that, Sonny? He said there's no way we can break this boulder, but, on the other hand, there should be a way out of there. Oh, no! What am I gonna do, dude? The only way out has spike traps everywhere! Just keep your eyes peeled. There's got to be another way out of there. I don't know, Sonny. I'm not really seeing anything. There should be another room, dude. Who do you think constructed that place? They had to have a secret exit to escape. You think there's like some ghost blocks here or something? Maybe. Just give me a second. I'll ask Steve if there's some secret ghost blocks. It's underneath his store, after all. He must know a bit more than we do. So, Steve. <laughs> Get this. You're totally not going to believe it. But you know those? danger keep out no seriously stay away signs that you left yeah what's up with those well you see melon and i thought we'd go for a little adventure so we tried to find orange juice down in that cave and now he's trapped are you serious that's what you get for not listening to the signs i specifically put there because i knew you two would try and go down there well now that it's already happened do you know if there's any secret ghost blocks or a way out of there well i figured this would happen and that's why i kept a journal of all the secrets that happened down there. Here, take it and get out of here. Okay, Steve, chill. Thank you. The Miner's Diary. Now be gone, you absolute pest. Whoa, Steve, you don't have to act up so much. Okay, let's see what's in the Miner's Diary. Tunnels of Target. There's catacombs in this place. I didn't know about this, but all I can say is you have to take a left in there. Don't go straight down. Melon! Melon, did you hear that? Just take a left turn. Left turn where, Sonny? Oh, I don't know, in the catacombs. Bro, I can't find the catacombs, but I did find some kind of exit. Does it look like a catacombs? I don't know, Sonny. I've got to somehow parkour down there. Hold up. I think with this, I can do it. I found it. Let's go. And, uh, Sonny, what's a catacomb, by the way? It's like an ancient place where they bury people and put skeletons. What the heck? That sounds terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure glad I'm not down there. Well, I think it was Cap anyways, because there's no catacombs homes here. It's just a simple parkour hobby. Well, make sure once you escape the parkour that you take a left. Do not go straight down. All right, Sonny. Will do! Oh, I can't believe I actually made that jump. Now, I'm just gonna keep doing this parkour and enter the catacombs. I really don't like this. Oh, no! Actually, it's really not that spooky, Sonny. Now, Melon, just remember to turn left. Yep, will do. I'll go straight and and then turn right. No, 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 Melon, not straight. You need to turn left. All right, got it, Sonny. Take a straight and then take a right turn. Oh, no! Oh! I should have listened to Sonny. Oh, no! I actually respawned down here. <sighs> yeah, Melon, I'm not surprised, bro. It's a magical energy keeping you trapped. Remember, straight down the path. Don't turn left. I can't, Sonny! I'm just too angry right now! Let me out of this place! Oh, no. What is that? What is that? Oh, why are there so many skeletons? Oh, no. I've got to get out of here. What is this? Oh, did I say straight down? Don't turn left? I meant to say you have to turn left. Bro, 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 bro. Dude, I got angry. I hit a skeleton. Oh my goodness, his friends are mad at me. But they fell into holes like stupid idiots. Well, then you should be fine. Hurry up and get out of there. Yeah. I dodged him. And now I'm gonna take a left. 
Sonny, you just led me to even more hallway. Oh, no. This guy's awake. I'm gonna run past him. Oh, somehow he didn't actually see me. Yeah, I'll take it. There's even more of them. Sonny, I think I'm not in the catacombs anymore. Okay, whereabouts are you? I don't know. I see some weird bed-looking thing. Uh... Oh, is that the tomb? Oh, no. This is a tomb? Yes. Now, Melon, according to the journal, you need to reminisce about your life and say something really embarrassing, like maybe that one time you pooped yourself. Uh... No, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to tell an embarrassing story, dude. Well, then you're gonna be trapped there forever. Oh, fine. Sonny, but you gotta turn off your earpiece. That's my only condition. Okay, fine. I'm taking my earpiece out now. And then, Goats, I'm gonna put it back in just before he tells the story. This one time, I befriended an iron. I played hide and seek with him. And I still lost! <laughs> No way, Melon! You lost hide and seek to an iron ore block? It can't even move! Shut up, Sonny! You weren't supposed to be listening! Sonny, it's actually working! The tomb, it opened! No way, Melon! You've gotta go inside, bro! The only way out is in. I've made it in, Sonny. This just looks even more dangerous. There's a whole lot of spike traps. Well, Melon, according to the journal, down in the tombs, it was terrible and full of scary jumps. But the author of this book, which I think is just Steve from Target, said that it was a good thing he's very good at parkour. And also that there's a bow somewhere down there afterwards. So make sure you complete those jumps and look for a bow and arrow. Steve might be good at parkour, but I'm not too great, Sonny. Just gotta jump across these walls. I can do this. I can do this. It's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can't believe I'm actually doing this thing. No way! Just a few more jumps. I believe in myself! Corner jumps! I hate corner jumps! No! No, no, no! I'm gonna die! I've really gotta do this all over again. This time for sure I'll succeed. Yes! I actually did it! No way! Jump! I'm almost out of here. Sonny, I've almost conquered the tombs. Good work, Melon. Keep going. Don't give up. And while you're doing that, I'll see if I can find that freshly squeezed orange juice for Quandale. Just one more jump. I did it. Now, where is this bow and arrow? Is it this way or up here? Well, that's a weird way to spell orange juice. Hey, Melon, I found this thing called Blaze Juice. Do you think Quandale will like it? I have no idea, Sonny. All right, well, I'm gonna find out. Hey, Steve, I'm just gonna steal this Blaze Juice. No, Sonny, don't you dare. Okay, bye. Hi, Steve. Gotta go. All right, I'm going down this crack. What is back here? Just more and more hallway. Doesn't seem like a whole lot's going on here. What? Who is that? It's one of the catacomb zombies, but this time he's got a bow and arrow. I've got to kill him. Give me your bow and arrow. Oh, this guy's not weak. Actually, he was hecka weak, bro. Let's go. And he dropped his long bow. This is like an even stronger bow. What else is back here? Uh, uh some kind of of gate? Oh, dude, there's targets here. Maybe if I shoot them, I can open this gate. One, two. Oh, sorry. Two. These work. Don't understand. I swear I hit the targets. Oh, <gasps> there's two more. I didn't even see them. They're so sneaky. Something just opened. I think it's working. Just gotta break this last target. Come on, please hit it. Dude, this is so hard to hit. Dude, this is really hard to hit this target. Surely one of those hit. Oh, <gasps> it actually worked. The door is open. And now I'm advanced to another gate? How am I supposed to open this? I don't understand. It seems like I need more than one person. Sonny, Sonny, come in. Uh, Melon, what's up? I'm almost back at Quandale's. I'm gonna give him this blaze juice. Oh, uh, Sonny, I need you to get in this cave with me. It's the only way I can enter through this gate. Okay, let me ask Quandale if he can teleport me in. Why don't you just teleport me out? Nah, that's probably not possible, so let's not even bother trying trying. Anyways, hey, Quandale, I got you this refreshing beverage. It's called Blaze Juice. If I give it to you, can you teleport me to Melon so I can help him out? Um, I guess so. Why not? Just sit down on the couch and I'll use my teleporter on you. Here you go, Quandale. Appreciate the help. And I'll just sit here on the couch and get teleported. Oh, hey, Melon. Uh, Sonny. <sighs> 
Did you even ask him? I'll ask him what? If he could teleport me out. Oh, no. That just seemed like a really bad idea. <sighs> Whatever, bro. Just stand on the pressure plate. We're gonna have to deal with whatever's behind this gate. Bro, you look awesome, by the way. Where'd you get that bow? Don't worry about it. Also, don't worry about this cool sword. <laughs> Yo, that thing is crazy. All right, I'll jump on the pressure plate. It's working. It's working! Let's go. Uh, Sonny, that guy looks really strong and super intimidating. You there. You think you can steal my crown of the undead? Wait, what? No, we just want to get out of here. The crown. You think you can steal it from me? Well, prepare to die. No, no, no. no. We, we just want to get out of here. I thought you wanted the... Never mind. How did you get here then? I accidentally took this sword, then the cave crumbled on me, and now I'm stuck. Yeah, and all I wanted to do was bring a nice refreshing drink to my my friend Quandale, but instead I had to get teleported down here to help save my brother Melon. Why didn't you just teleport him out? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Why didn't you just get teleported out, Melon? Sonny, that's what I've been asking! <sighs> Anyways, what's done is done. Not much we can do about it now, huh? Oh, well, that does sound like it sucks. Also, I have some orange juice here if you want it. No way. Melon, we can still get Quandale his refreshing orange juice. Let's go! Sonny, that's what I call mission successful. Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely took a few twists and turns that were unexpected, but now we've got the orange juice, so it was all worth it. And let's get the heck out of here before this guy changes his mind. Yeah, good idea. Let's do it! See ya! Where are you guys going? I thought we were gonna hang out. Yeah, uh, uh, sorry about that. We heard there's some people coming to steal your crown, so you gotta be prepared for that. Bye! Sunny, fresh air! I could see the light! No way. The secret entrance was just next to Quandale's this whole time? Look, Melon, he's just over here. Are you kidding me, bro? This was here the entire time? Well, at least now we know. Whatever, Sonny. Let's just deliver him his OJ. Here you go, Quandale. One orange juice. Thanks, Melon, and I'm glad you're doing okay. <sighs> We did it, Melon. And now we can sit back, relax, enjoy some skibbities with our new snacks. Uh, Sonny? I forgot the snacks! No! But you goats should not forget to press that like button and subscribe to our channel for more.